It's been eight weeks now since the floods came to Yalding and people here hope the worst has passed. Jenny. Jenny's seen her house underwater before, but this time she's noticed a different attitude from insurers. Because I suppose we're in much more straitened financial times than we were in 2000 when we were last flooded, um, the insurance companies are really penny pinching and are questioning every thing that you think should be going, you know. Um, and I think the hard thing is not to be worn down by it. Having promised to visit every flood-stricken part of the country, David Cameron knows he's got some making up to do with communities who feel the government's response came too late. The bosses of Britain's biggest insurers have been summoned here later today to make sure they're looking after their customers. Ministers say the industry needs to step up and make the process as quick and simple as possible. And more meetings will happen here every month until that process is complete. Already insurers say they've given flood victims £14 million in emergency payments since Christmas. £24 million has been spent on alternative accommodation such as hotels and rented homes. And 1,800 insurance company staff have been redeployed to deal personally with the rise in customer claims. When we've got every single person who's been displaced back into the home and every single business operating again, then we'll start doing the maths and calculate what the final cost is. It'd be good to get you back in, but it's still, it's still going to be a little bit of time. The water has left Jenny's house, but drying out will take a few more weeks and a lot longer to put it back the way it was. Her advice is to get help from someone like this, a loss adjuster who works for you, not your insurer who will make sure you get all the compensation to which you're entitled. Ty Genwright, Sky News.